Hello everyone, my name's Shane from Fresh Bait Mate with my good friend, international French chef, Gerard. And we're here to present our show, Hook 'em and Cook 'em. We've come down today on the Ballerine Peninsula in Clifton Springs. And our target today is squid. I'm gonna show you how to rig up for them and how to hook them. And Gerard, I'll be going to show you how to clean them and how to cook them. Lovely. Let's do this. Yeah, let's do this. So what we're talking about and a big part of, of fishing is getting to know your surroundings and your environment and also talking to your locals. And if you, if you touch base with local tackle shops, they'll give you the knowledge you need to be successful in hooking them. What an amazing sunset. And this is what we're talking about. Now that we're all rigged up, and the sun is starting to set. This is when squid are the most active. This is when they're looking for they're looking for their next prey. Now, speaking to the locals and getting to know some of the local tackle shops and, and gaining that local knowledge, we're told that white is predominantly the, the most common color to use out on this side of town. As you can see, Gerard's got the white with the black feathers and I've got a white with the brown feathers. Um, I think now we give it a shot. Absolutely. We'll see how we go. We're going to try and show you some squid. So what we're trying to do and what I find most successful is when jigging, we're just, we're working a very small, slight motion. So by doing this, we're showing the squid that this is an easy bait and it doesn't really need to commit to take it. Um, so the action we're going to, to use is just two small jigs. Then we're gonna let the jig sink. As it's sinking, we're just gonna take up the slack so we can feel if there's a strike. Once again, we let it sink, hit the bottom, and then again, two little motions. Now we wanna avoid doing really large heavy actions because we're showing the squid that this bait is alive and it's really active and the squid really has to commit to take it which minimizes your catch rate so once again we're taking up the slack and we're just doing a small two jig motion just to get the jig off the water uh, off the shore and back down by doing so what we want to do is just lift the jig off the floor and let it sink back down. Uh, and this is the action that we'll be using once again. That's all we need. And then we're taking up the slack again, waiting for that strike. As we've waited for the sun to set um, and night to set in, we've started casting our squid jigs out there in about 15 minutes. We've landed our first one. And the first one. And now, we're uh, yeah. ready to start. Yeah, now you, if you want to eat some, and we have to clean it, and we'll be cooking it. Okay, I'll show you what to do in 30 seconds. Lovely. Okay, we got this beautiful uh, after 20 minutes, the safe champion, bravo. And we got this uh, nice little um, calamari. I got the head here and two tentacles. Now on the side, you can see two wings. And what we're going to do, we're going to remove the intestine. Okay. Now, to clean that very quickly, we use this little device, fantastic, make uh, squid easy, that you can buy in a shop, okay? So what you do, you pull that underneath, and then uh, you can see you push parallel to the body, try not to make a hole in the body, okay? And with your finger, you turn around, and what's happened? you try to remove the head and the guts okay there's a little bit of hole you put your finger in there and you try not to break the ink sac good now you have introduced the blue plastic okay just wiggle a little bit and oh look at this now it's easy we got the quill and of course that's not good ah, we discard now we're 
Uh, where do we get these from? I mean, ah, these are that's amazing. fantastic. These we are... get them from then. We can get them to, um, uh, in shop and uh, fishing any, any... Uh, shop, and it's called uh, Easy Squeeze. Yep. Oh, okay. So that we can get these from any bait and tackle store. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's a great invention, Australian yep. invention. Great. Lovely. Good. After that, you are removed. What's happened? You see all this uh, skin and the two flaps, the two wings. We have to remove them. So easy. I got my little board. You do a little, uh, that's there, to put the plastic. Now it's stand on itself. What you do, you use little... Um, uh, the little slots? Yeah, little slot there. Right. And yep, yep. you introduce, okay, and you try to remove the beginning. Oh, okay, so you've just yep. placed that over that's and, and, yep. and that's it. Okay, Good. yep. Okay, now, with, you know, we have opened there. And we try to remove the skin and normally what you do in one second you remove the skin and the flaps one two three done magic bravo done <laughs> all right okay now I show you you have to clean inside to be sure it's very clean Okay, you don't want to eat piece of the guts. So with this little machine, it's fantastic. What you do, you pick here, you go inside, and guess what? Whoa, fantastic! Oh, look at that! It's in two seconds. Out. Yeah, great. So what you do now, you can see that I didn't clean. So now with a knife, you just scrap one side and the second side, and you see, I go quickly. And you cut at the end, and you get a beautiful squid ready to slice and ready to cook. Okay, guys, now we got this nice little clean uh, squid. We're going to do the rings. One, two, three. Wow, that that blade. Let me just uh, talk about this blade here. This this knife we have here. Oh yes, um, very sharp. Yeah, very sharp. Now talking about the uh, the knives here, let me introduce it. This is from J Blade. Now they're, they're handcrafted. Uh, they've, they've used exotic timbers and not two are the same. And as you can see, the finish on them is phenomenal. Now these are exclusive to Fresh Bait Mate. Um, this is only one of the, the, the many a range that they have. Um, and as you can see, this one was actually an old shearing scissor that's just been reshaped and inserted in this beautiful timber handle. Oh, and me as a chef, oh, I love to have a knife like that. Oh, look at this. Oh, like a razor. Now we got our nice ring of calamari and we're going to put them in a flour first, then in an egg wash and the breadcrumb. Ready? Easy. To give a little bit of flavor, Okay, we got plenty of salt and pepper, the black pepper, yummy. Okay, after that, you take your fork, yeah, and you beat, like if you want to do an omelette, easy. All right, now what you do, you take, oh, I'll show you one by one, you take a ring of calamari, you dip in the flour on both sides, what you can do, be sure you remove the excess of flour and you dip it in the egg wash. After that, you drain and you put in your wet crumb. Turn around, beautiful. And you put them in a plate, ready for cooking. Okay, I'll show you another one. You put that in the flour. Bang on your hand, drop in the mixture, turn around, both sides, then you drain in the breadcrumb. After the breadcrumb, you turn around, and the same, you'll be sure it stick well. Look. Okay, I've done three, and now good idea, let's do the fisherman do it, okay? <laughs> okay, we'll give it a shot. Uh, okay, Shane, okay, okay. Doesn't okay. Look too dude, hard, you so know, uh, one, two, three, I'll let you do. Okay, no you, you guide me through it, guide yeah, me through yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you grab uh, the calamari, 
right ring you drop it in the flower yep. real quickly and then in your left hand you can um, remove the excess of flour right yeah okay and you drop your in the egg. ring in the egg wash right and you, yeah be sure you turn around like that beautiful and then you drain the excess of uh, of the egg eggs, right okay and you drop it in the bread from you a champion look at hey. this how easy it is huh? yeah. and then after with your hand you compress just be sure it's uh, stick to the oh, calamari. So we're, okay, we're packing Beautiful. the breadcrumbs yeah. on it. Yeah, get yeah. them to stick. Fantastic. Yeah. You did a good job. Now you can do the other one. You Not as good. Well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll do the rest. Yeah. And we're going now to cook the ring. So I put a bit of oil in the pan. And you wait for a few minutes. Okay, uh, what I just put some oil in the pan. Okay, some good oil. All you have to be sure that it's uh, all, uh, you know, for perfect for uh, pan fry, huh? Don't take the oil for salad, it's not going, it's going to burn. Now, what you do, you just wait that the oil at, is at the temperature 180, roughly. Right. You yeah, know, yeah. you'll know when it's ready, when you put the ring inside. I'll show you now, it's not ready. Nothing happened, okay? You have to wait. You have to wait, okay? It's not hot enough. Good, so we're going to start to see if it's ready. Yeah, you know when it starts to be, the oil when is it ready. it starts to sizzle like oh, that. Oh yeah, right. okay. that is yeah. it. Yeah, it's good. Ready, you put them in all in the same time, if you can. And don't cook them for too long. How long are we cooking them for? Uh, question, uh, see what's happened uh, in on time, maybe two minutes. Two minutes, okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, I will say between one and a half, on each side, 90 seconds. Normally I put 90 seconds, okay? But the oil at 180 is good. Okay, you got your what? 90 seconds? 90 seconds, right. At 90, 90 seconds, or one minute and a half, is the same. I think my stomach will tell us when it's 90 seconds. Yeah, see, yeah. you turn, see, it's not cooked enough. Roughly 90 seconds, because you don't want to eat them very tough. Okay. Tender. Tender, yeah, yeah. Okay. If you cook more than 90 seconds, it's very hard. It becomes chewy, shoo like shrimp gum. Beautiful. Can you see there? The oil is just smoking a bit. That means it's at the right temperature. And the only way to check, you turn around to see if it's See this one? Beautiful. So this what are we one? looking for? A bit of the golden? Yeah, a little right. bit. Yeah, when yeah. it's this yeah. color, yeah. you can turn. See this one? Now this one is white. Right. Can you see? Oh, oh wow. nice. It's amazing. It smells fantastic. And we can eat that in a bush. Uh, we are here. What's the place here? Clifton Springs. Clifton Springs. On the oh, jetty. Wow. Beautiful. Look at this. All the fishermen will be coming here to sniff sniff. Bad luck, don't have enough for everybody. <laughs> All right. Do you want to have a filling uh, to see? Sure, what am I looking and for? And you, you uh, turn, see if they're not burnt in the bottom. I'm looking at the bottom. Ah, oh, right, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit no, more. A little bit more. Right, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's still white underneath, right, yeah. yeah. And you see it's coming good? Yeah, yeah. They smell incredible. Ah, that's my good. Oh. Oh. Fresh. Cannot be so fresh. Cannot be more fresh. You can't get any fresher than this. Oh, no. Oh, that, that, this one is good. Look at that. See? Not more cooked than that. Look at that. Is that, is that done now, is it? But it's... Oh, this one, yes, that's it. It's, it's done. Yeah. Pop him on here. Yeah. Right. Donut, right. be careful because the other one will be all in the same time soon. Yeah, they'll all go together at yeah. once. Right, okay. okay. Yeah. Beautiful. There's more oil on this side. Than yeah, the yeah. Hold them on this side. Shift them around a little. Get them sitting in that oil to cook yeah. up. Yeah. yeah, because it's cold outside tonight, so the oil is cooling down a little bit. 
Oh, can you smell that? It smells oh. incredible. Amazing. Uh -huh. And do you know what? It, it is cold, yeah. but uh -huh. for for mm. the end of June, it's actually not yeah. that cold. Oh, it's today. actually, it's not too bad. Okay, now be careful. Now. Good, ready. Yeah, it's done. Oh yes, see? Become a... Uh, hey, someone... Get I'm too busy cook, talking quicker. instead of cooking. Yeah. Yeah. Right, well. Yeah, all right, good. You're doing a fantastic job. Now you have to go a little bit quicker because uh, here what's happened, this one is quick. Now do you remember when you put in a um, egg wash? Yep. The eggs, we call that egg wash. Uh, like that we can... Uh, Cook. Uh, no, the egg wash stick. The breadcrumbs. Yeah. Oh, so right, firstly yeah, you okay. put some flour. Yep. And then you put the egg wash, and then after you put the breadcrumb. Right. I prefer this recipe that people put it in a deep fryer with uh, the batter. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, they yeah. got plenty of, uh, like at the pub. They give you a small squid and uh, and plenty uh, of flour. Batter and this one yep. more nice, uh, more tasty. And what we got? We got some lemon there, and you can switch up the. Pan, it's okay. Yeah. The art. Oh, look at nice. Oh, like. Okay, good. Okay, now we can try. I got some uh, lemon. Where's the lemon? Good. Now we have to try a little bit of lemon. Magic. Whoops. Oh, wow. I'll show you one day how to make that. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. And here we are. Uh, do you want to try one? And, uh, uh, okay, Shane. Uh, okay, you have to try. I'll have to try one. Yeah, these look amazing. Let's see. Put some lemon. lemon. And see if it's cooked for you. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. You have to try one of these. Of course. Oh, come on. Oh my god. Mm. Can't get any fresher than this. Fresh? Here nice. we are. Tender, not rubbery, because sometimes you know the calamari is rubbery, mm -hmm. and a lot of flavor. Can't get any fresher than this. Here we are, Clifton Springs. We've just gone fishing. We've caught some squid. Gerard has prepared them, cleaned it, and prepared it. And let me just tell you, this is amazing. You can't get any better than this. In the bush. Huh? Yep. In the bush. You have to do it. You have to do it. Thank you guys, thank you for watching. And okay, I'm glad everything went well. Everything went and really good. See you in uh, another adventure. Thank you for watching. See, see you guys. Bye.